Today's show is all about beer, and I'm in the kitchen with uh, some folks that know a thing or two about it. Titletown Brewery, uh, I think you guys are the first, right? The very first in the Green Bay area? Yeah, 90, 96. I remember yeah. when it opened, it was a huge deal, and the cool part is the sign of a good restaurant. It's still going strong. You'll still go in there, and it is absolutely jam-packed. Mm -hmm. um, and the, you know that means you're doing something right. Great beer, great, great food. And so um, I've got David and Molly here. They're going to be part of the, the big craft beer show on Saturday. So we're going to talk to David about some of the beers you're serving. And uh, we're going to do some cooking with beer. So okay. Molly started some, it smells yes. so good in here. A little bacon? <laughs> yep, I have some bacon. And we're going to save this bacon because it's going to come back into play a little bit later. So about three pieces that we browned up in a skillet, saving the drippings. Saving the drippings. Now in these drippings, we're going to brown up our chicken. So, so this is a great kind of a a nice family different dish y'all chicken is can be so boring so this is a great way to do chicken make it, it is a special it is and you know what it's like a one pot meal if you have one of those big dutch ovens sure you can do this in a big dutch oven that fits in unfortunately i don't have one so we're going to do a couple of different steps here that's okay so we're going to let this chicken brown and we want to let it brown until it gets to be this nice deep dark golden golden color and we're using bone in chicken whatever you like uh you've got some dark meat going here but i you know mm -hmm. my family happens to like the the white meat so or a mixture so basically We've yep. got some bone in chicken. Yep, I got about three pounds worth of chicken here. Okay. So, and we're going to let that brown up all nice and crispy. And while that's browning, we're going to take our mirepoix of vegetables, which is onion, celery, and carrot, and we're just going to do a quick dice on these. Okay. All right. Now, while so. Molly's dicing these up pretty finely, um, about a quarter inch dice. Okay. So, um, it doesn't have to be inch. perfect, you know. Nope. Um, a little more rustic dish. Yep. This is. It's really just for the flavor more than it is for the presentation. I understand. Mm -hmm. So um, let's talk about um, the beer that we're using in this and some of the beers that you, you're going to be sampling this weekend. Yeah, so this beer is actually a collaboration between the four local breweries, and we've seen things from all three of them already. Um, all three of the other ones, Still Mink, um, Hinterland, and, uh, and Badger State. We all got together and came up with this recipe, and um, we went through a couple different things, but what we ended up saying is let's do a, let's do a California common beer. Um, which would just kind of be a fun beer that you don't see a lot of. Um, and then somebody said, uh, I'm pre pretty sure it was Brad Stillman, said, let's make it, uh, let's just make it stronger and bigger and bolder. So, so we just took a California common recipe, and it was based off one we did a, a number of years ago, and we just uh, made it a little, uh, little heavier, a little more alcohol, a little more hops. Kicked it um, up a notch, kicked huh? it up a notch, yes, that's a good way well, to put it. you know, what's cool is you guys are working together. It's not like a competition. You kind of, uh, you're, you know, kind of bringing out the best in, in everybody, right? Yeah, yeah, the whole craft beer industry is, is, has a lot of that, uh, a lot of that going for it. People are really, they, they're more friendly competition, not real competition, you know? Sure. Um, and, and there's just, the, the industry is doing so well that, you know, we don't have to, we don't have to be trying to take other people's business. We all we can all do, do nicely. Yeah, so. that, that whole beer tour in Wisconsin is really taking off, and mm -hmm. it's really um, very, very cool to see. So um, this is one of the beers you can stop by, and, and you can buy it right there? Yeah, starting uh, starting this weekend. Okay, starting this yeah. weekend, you we, can stop we made by Titletown. We made it specifically for the fest. Okay, so, okay. Um, we're, we're still doing some blending. We actually, uh, one of the, we did two, we did two brews of it, um, and uh, we're blending the two together. One of those used um, a bunch of uh, locally grown hops from people in town. Um, and so we're, we we had a lot of a lot of fun with this one. And Very so. cool. All right, I'm going to talk quick with the yep. Molly. How, where are we at here? Okay, so we're going to let these all get reduced down and caramelized, and they're going to very much like this. Ooh, so, so it's going to take your time. Yep, it's going to take some time. The, the browning of the chicken takes a little bit of time too, so don't rush this recipe. So this is kind of a Sunday. You know, you got some time. You, you know, then um, but it's all going to be worth it. So you then bet. the vegetables. And then you put the vegetables in in your chicken, and then what you want to do is you want to take all of these. This pan, we're going to add all of our vegetables. We would be all caramelized in there. Okay. And we have all these brown bits on the bottom of this pan, so we're going to deglaze it with some of our beer. And we're going to pick up all those little flavor nubs down there, and that's going to help um, enrich this sauce that we're going to be using. And you can use beer in a lot of the recipes you do at Title Town. I mean, you've yes, got access do. to it, and then, they, then you've got the pairings that go well. Exactly. It really works great. So. Yeah, and it's a lot of experimentation, too. It really is. You know, we put it in something as simple as a mayonnaise. And we'll do something as complicated as braising uh, meat with it too. Is this so on the menu or is it a special? This is just a special that okay. we're running t for the um, show today. Okay. So uh, you just let, once all your little brown bits are picked up off okay. that, let me turn this scad boy off. You're going to pour this right over the top. And like I said, we're braising this meat. So you don't want to cover it with juice. You just want the beer to come up about halfway up the side of your chicken. And you want to make sure that these vegetables are kind of spread out. You want some of that chicken to be up on the top so it can really get some heat to it. We're going to move you along a little bit. Yeah. Cover with foil then? Cover it with foil, pop it in the oven, give it about 
35 to 45 minutes. I've got some right here. How clear off a space. And it looks <laughs> and smells. And so it really kind of cooks down and that, that juice gets even more mm -hmm. intensified. The exactly. Flavor. You can set it right on right? the cutting uh -huh. board there. It's perfect. Now where's the bacon come in? Now the bacon comes in when we plate this up, we're going to use some mashed potatoes that I have Ooh. in there warming up. <laughs> and they have been, they're not your sweet brown sugar mashed potatoes. They have a little sage and a little uh, thyme on them. Yum. Oh and we're going to throw those on the plate with some Ooh. blue cheese crumbles. Oh my gosh. So talk about a great fall dish. Mm -hmm. Sweet and potatoes. With blue we want to Ooh. sprinkle the bacon over the top of your chicken and then what I like to do is I like to take some of this juice toss it in a pan with some spinach mm -hmm. and wilt that spinach down a little bit Ooh. and then you have this whole dish ready the to ultimate right fall there. dinner with some beer you with betcha. some beer I mean oh my gosh how many beers uh, are you always serving at Title Town on tap that you guys make we vary anywhere from 10 to 14 um, at this time of year it's usually about the 10 side because we just got out of our busy summer but sure. uh, yeah we're, we're gonna hopefully keep that uh, closer to 14 going forward because we're opening our new uh, production brewery uh, any any time now so very cool uh, Always something fun happening at Title Town. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Always, yeah. Great fish fry that you can get um, every day of the week. Amazing tartar sauce. And my producer, Abby, swears by your elk burger. I have not tried it, oh. but I know you've made it for us on the show, so yeah. i got to get out there. Yeah. So we'll let you finish the dish and plate it up. Thanks, you guys, for coming. Really appreciate it. Have Thank fun you. this weekend, All Saturday. Right, we and uh, um, can't wait to make this recipe. We'll put it on our website. We'll be back. Stay with us.